In the previous video, we discussed about the lysosomal metabolism of GM2 gangliosides. If you want to watch that video first, the link is in the description. Now, in this video, we will be discussing about the TASHS disease. In this disease, there is a progressive deterioration of nerve cells. The mental and physical abilities go down by 6 months of age. The TASHS disease occurs when the lipids like uh, GM2 gangliosides accumulates in the nerve cells of brain. And we know this is a part of lysosomal storage disorder, where lysosomes are unable to hydrolyze GM2 gangliosides. Now, first of all, let's see the mechanism of TASHS disease, where we are going to see how we get the disease at genetic level. Here we see we have the location of gene at chromosome 15q24.1. The gene on that location is hexagene, which codes for hexosaminidase A enzyme. That's alpha subunit of hexosaminidase enzyme. And this enzyme, hexa enzyme, aids in GM2 metabolism, where it drives the hydrolysis of GM2 gangliosides to GM3. This forms as the normal process. And when we see the location of gene on chromosome number 15, we have a total of 14 exons for hexa gene. But it's the exon 11 where we get the 4 base pair insertion in the form of TATC. And this insertion produces downstream premature termination codon that gives us dysfunctional protein or sometimes the protein is absent, means there will be no hexa enzyme. And when we have no hexa enzyme, these steps will cease to exist. So upon that we have no GM2 gangliocyte metabolism that leads to accumulation of GM2 gangliocytes in the no cells of brain up to abnormal levels and we get the TASHS disease. If we illustrate this in an animation, we see we have the cell with GM2 gangliocide on the plasma membrane. And within the cell, we have the lysosome with hexa enzyme, shown in the green color. The GM2 activator protein takes out the GM2 gangliocide from the membrane and delivers it to the hexa enzyme, which hydrolyzes this GM2 lipid to GM3, as shown in the animation. But when we have the mutation in hexa gene by base pair insertion as TATC, that time hexa protein or enzyme will be absent and we won't get any GM2 hydrolysis and the accumulation of GM2 occurs within the cell and damages the nerves. Now let's jump towards the mechanism where we are going to see how 4 base pair insertion takes place at exon 11. Here we have the normal hexa gene showing normal codons of exon 11. But when the insertion takes place with TATC on serine codon TCC as shown in the animation, we change the whole reading frame. That means frame shift mutation has occurred where all the codons will change now and we can see the last codon changing into stop codon as TGA by this insertion. So basically it's here where the premature termination of translation will occur without translating exon 12, 13 and 14 thereby producing truncated or dysfunctional enzyme that leads to TASH disease. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting my work on Patreon or YouTube and make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.